And the main event, Moxley and Archer versus Kenta. Kenny Omega, lights out, anything goes, falls count anywhere match. This match was great. Yep. They yep. Yep. beat the hell out of each other all over the building. They did spots in the ring. We had trash cans. We had ladders. They brawled out of the ring. They brawled up the stairs into the kitchen area. And power bombs and... What did Moxley take on the table? DDT on the table. And Kenta gave Moxley DDT on, on the... Not, it was like a um, a metal table, not a wooden table that you break. They're, they're hitting each other with food, potatoes. We get potato jokes. Which, by the way, John Moxley did the lightest punch ever with a potato, I might add, in this brawl. Omega and Moxley are brawling outside, and Moxley's hitting with cane shots. He takes a V-trigger. And then eventually, Good Brothers hit ringside, and they go after Archer. Anderson gives him the stun gun. Jake lays out Anderson with the short arm clothesline. Gallows takes out Jake. Kenny's going to give him the V trigger, but Moxley makes a save with a barbed wire bat. Heels give Archer the double low blow. Good Brothers hit him with the magic killer. And finally, Moxley hits a V trigger on Archer. I'm sorry, uh, not Moxley, Omega. And the Good Brothers help him get Archer up on his shoulders. And Omega hits him with the one-winged angel and gets the pin. So they beat Archer here. I actually thought that, like, maybe Moxley would pin Omega because we need a main event for this Revolution show. I actually thought the exact same thing, that it was going to end with Moxley pinning Omega. Um, the thing is, is that's Feb 27. Uh, or no, it's, I mean, March March. Was it March seven, March six, whatever the whatever the Sunday is, March seven, I think. We got a month. Yeah, that's what what I was going to say is, we, you know, um, we got a couple of weeks. Yeah, um, but I thought this was like if I was going to time it, um, if you if Moxley is going to pin Omega, probably a week or two from now would probably be the optimal. But it could have been this week. I mean, when I saw the match, it's, it was what I thought it would be. So that was a show, very good show, very good main event. And we'll see how it does in the ratings. Yeah, I mean, I think the show would have done pretty decent, but um, I don't, you know, count on anything because of the, uh, you know, the impeachment hearings. Um, it's just, you know, you know, I, when, I, when I looked, like I said, when I looked at the news from Tuesday, I mean, it's probably, you know, and, and I think that um, impact was down, you know, substantially from the week before. And I think that the news was, you know, affected impact. And, you know, the news should affect both shows next week. I, don't, I mean, this week or, you know, from tonight. So I, if, if they get big numbers, I'll be, I'll be surprised on both, on both accounts. I think that, um, you know, I think really both should be down, you know, down um, noticeably from last week on it, you know, which is scary for NXT because NXT was – you know, was not that good, but NXT had edge. This week they don't got edge. Um, they got some tournament matches, but these these aren't Dude, they had the matches. tournament matches last week, and the tournament matches died, so I'm not sure the tournament matches are going to save the show here. That's what I mean. I don't think NXT is going to do very well. Um, AW, I mean, AW, I think, should get a little bit from the idea of, like, Kenta, but Kenta's not really going to be a ratings draw, but just the idea of, you know the new, you know the new Japan, the door opening and all that. But the thing is, is like the audience that that's going to appeal to really is the one that's already watching to begin with. But um, I think it should, if nothing else, alleviate some of the decline. I think that the show, and this was a pretty entertaining show, even though like from that marquee standpoint of matches, it it wasn't like loaded like a lot of weeks are. Um, so, you know, it was, abs you know, absolutely from a lineup standpoint, far weaker than last week and far harder competition than last week as well. So in theory, that would mean, um, you know, a lower rating than last week. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, 
working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.